I wish I could tell you that there was a fast, easy way to save money, to invest, and accomplish financial freedom. Unfortunately, the truth is, shy of winning the lottery, getting an inheritance, or finding a big bag of money, maybe doing something illegal, there's no easy or fast way to make money. As a rule of thumb, if it's promised that it's going to be fast and easy wealth, it's a scam. I'm Jesse S. Guides, investor, real estate broker, and owner of Guides Investment Group, RE Property Services, Repro's Agent Academy, and author of Real Estate Excess. I'm also the owner of this YouTube channel, G Finance, and it is my goal to take what I've learned and share it with you free of charge on this channel. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe so that you can be up to date with all of the new financial content. This is the hard truth about savings for beginners. So let's get started. Fortunately, there is a way to accomplish financial freedom, and you may get disappointed when you hear it, but at least you won't be in the dark. If you don't like what I'm about to say, simply go back to hoping you will one day win the lotto or find a bag of money somewhere because nothing else is going to work. But if you're serious about acquiring financial freedom and becoming wealthy, listen to the rest of the video. Let's get started. These are three steps to financial freedom, and they're the most important steps, I believe. Without them, you can't go anywhere else. They're pretty basic to some, but in order to acquire wealth, one, the first thing you must understand is how to budget. Now, the easiest way to budget in order to know whether saving and investing is possible for you is to write down all of your mandatory expenses. You must get a pencil and pull out a sheet of paper. Obviously, you can use a computer or phone nowadays, but for me, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned pencil and paper. Pause this video and write down a list of all of your mandatory bills. This should include your rent or mortgage payments, insurance, car payments, utility bills, daily mandatory expenses like gas, tolls, and food. So do it now, because procrastination is the fastest way to debt and poverty. Pause this video and do that. Now that this is complete, you will notice a few things. What's not on that list? Starbucks, Netflix, phone app subscriptions, McDonald's, Gucci store. If some of these things I've mentioned are on the list or anything similar is on that list, erase it now. If you want to be rich, you must eliminate any expenses that take your surplus. Take a minute to swallow that pill before you proceed. Because if you're not willing to do what it takes, nothing and nobody is going to help you become rich. Got it? Good. We could move on to step two. Step two would be write down your income. Your income is whatever amount you make by working. So how much is your paycheck? This could be bi-weekly, weekly, monthly. I'll pause here and state the following. If your income happens to be based on your performance, meaning... You make a commission or you're self-employed and your income fluctuates depending on how much business you receive each month. It's going to be a little harder for you to scale your savings and investing. Your investment strategies will vary slightly from someone who makes a steady stream of income. Say somebody that works a full-time job gets the same amount of hours per week and knows exactly how much their paycheck will be at the end of the week, bi-weekly or month. If you are one that makes a commission or is self-employed, don't be discouraged. I, I, I'll have another video that will uh, specifically meet your needs and suit you. And, and as for those that can scale your income, please proceed with this video. Um, add up all of your mandatory expenses and add up your monthly income. If your income is more then you pay for your mandatory bills. This is great news. You will be able to save money and invest your surplus, becoming a lot richer on the long term. But if your bills cost more than your mandatory expenses, you will have to make some adjustments. This is the hard truth. The fact is, if you're not making more than you're spending, you will never be able to accumulate wealth. You will have to either get an additional form of income or eliminate or reduce the cost of certain bills. This video is not for you. The only advice I have is to watch this video again once you make more than it costs to pay your bills. Again, if you are not making more than your mandatory bills, you are either living above your means and therefore are in debt, or you need to make more income. 
be it getting another job or finding a new stream of income to supplement the difference. So that would be the only area of advice I have for you uh, concerning what we're talking about. Now, sometimes this can be accomplished by using less electricity or water or gas or taking a closer look of what you are claiming are mandatory expenses, food, shelter, communication, transportation. If anything else is on your mandatory list, you have some choices to make. Moving on. The good news is that if you do make more money than your cost of living, you can be on your way to wealth with a few minor adjustments. This advice is for those who make more money than they spend on their actual cost of living. And for those that do, the main problem that you will face in 2024 is wasting your money on liabilities. What are liabilities? Liabilities are things that you spend your money on that are not needed to survive on a daily basis or things you spend your money on that give you no return on your investment. And although some liabilities like car payments are inevitable, most of the time we waste our money on other liabilities that are not needed and it results in being broke all the time. The most destructive liabilities are everyday purchases in the form of fast food, drinks, clothing and entertainment, and impulse buys. Wasting money on these things will not only leave you broke, but also have the potential of leaving you in debt. Stop wasting your money. The next most destructive liabilities are small bills, and small bills typically come in the form of unnecessary subscriptions like Netflix, phone app subscriptions, and the likes. Uh, $7 here, $12 there. These all typically add up to thousands of dollars per year. You may have to take a, a whole day out of your life and direct it towards pulling all your credit card bills and bank statements in order to unsubscribe and eliminate all of those small unnecessary bills. If you're on a fixed income, these small bills have the potential to keep you broke and in debt for the rest of your life. Get rid of them. By wasting your surplus on these items, you are essentially living above your means and you have an impulse spending habit that you will need to address before even thinking about being rich. Hard truth. Three, once you've eliminated these liabilities, you're on your way to saving a lot of money. But what do you do with it? Uh, do you simply throw it in a savings account and build upon it? You can, uh, but although this will certainly help you accumulate your, so your, your surplus, it definitely won't make you rich and certainly not wealthy you will have to learn to redirect these funds into interest-bearing accounts and furthermore, compound interest-bearing accounts. But I don't want to get into that in this video because it will require a lot of time and dedication. Before you get to that point, you must be able to save up at least $2,000. And this is my strong opinion. But don't take my word for it. According to Go Banking Rates, 70% of Americans don't have $1,000 in savings. You need to at least make it to the 30 percentile before even thinking about how to gain a return on those funds. That's next level. And this is the hard truth about saving money. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the only way that I can make sure that you are getting all of my up-to-date content and are on the road to financial freedom.